you. Here are three things that you need to know right now. You are now able to order an antibody test for the coronavirus online. The tests are being offered from Quest Diagnostics and a licensed doctor will review the online request. Now, if it's approved, you would then have to go to one of the company's patient service centers for the actual testing. According to Quest, the results should take approximately one to two days. However, the testing is not for those who have an active COVID-19 infection. A sudden reversal of plans means the House of Representatives will not return to session in the nation's capital next week. Just yesterday, House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer told members that they were expected back at work on Monday, May 4th for possible votes. But today, Hoyer announced that the House won't return next week after all, following discussions with congressional medical advisors. The country's biggest internet providers are extending their pledge to keep people online. AT&T, Comcast, T-Mobile and Verizon are all extending no disconnect policies through June 30th for home, small business and wireless customers. Anyone who can't pay their bills will have to notify their provider to avoid late fees or loss of service. Comcast, the parent company of NBC Universal, says it extended the policy to help students finish out the school year while staying at home.